Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Everybody, everybody have a seat. Everybody have a seat. Oliver is upset <laughs> that mom's up here and he's not. Now, if you want to bring Oliver up here, that's fine. Coach, what do you think? Come on. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Look, he's got his little suit on and everything. <laughs> Look at him. Got the bow tie. Say hi to Mr. President. Hey, man. Say high five. High five. High five. High five. Yeah. There you go. All right. Now that we got that settled. Good afternoon, everybody. Give it up for the 2015 WNBA champion, Minnesota Lynch. So this is the team's third visit to the White House in the past five years. So I guess I should ask, whose house? <laughs> Our house. Our house. We have some Lynx fans in the house, including your outstanding senator, Amy Klobuchar. <laughs> WNBA president Lisa Borders is here. Welcome back to Coach Cheryl Reeve, third title with the Lynx. You get a sense she's, she's feeling greedy, though. She wants more. When the Lynx won it all with champion, uh, or, you know, banners going up, champagne popping, she looked around and said, this never gets old. <laughs> this never gets old. And you can see how the way, uh, by the way they're playing this year, that it has not gotten old for any of the players either. Uh, I want to take a moment to recognize somebody who I know would have uh, loved to uh, have been in this moment, uh, Flip Saunders, uh, who was a huge part of Minnesota basketball at all levels and a supporter of this team. Uh, obviously, he experienced a, a tragic uh, uh, illness, and, and so on behalf of all basketball fans, uh, this day, too, is for Flip, and we want to give him a big round of applause. So uh, I think it's fair to say this team is a powerhouse. You got Maya Moore, Lindsey Whalen, Simone Augustus, recently named among the top 20 players in WNBA history. So you got, <laughs> seems like y'all should have had more than three <laughs> when you got that much talent? Uh-oh, I got you. All right, well, you just wanted his moment in the sun. Now, this isn't to say it's always easy. You know, last year, these women faced down mid-season roster shakeups, multiple injuries. I know, it was frustrating. And a championship game that started a little bleak. Lindsay sprained her ankle. Maya was trying to find her rhythm. But in the second half, the Lynx started to gain some steam. Simone finished with 16 points. Sylvia uh, Fowl, uh, Foles had 20. They pulled away, won the championship by 17 points. It was their first championship at home in front of their loyal Minnesota fans. And as Maya put it, it wasn't a perfect year, a perfect series, or a perfect game, but we are the champions. And that's what matters. They did manage to have a pretty close uh, to perfect victory party, though. Uh, after the game, the Lynx drove out to Paisley Park for a private concert by one of their biggest fans, Prince, which uh, was pretty cool and reminds us of how much we miss him. Uh, in fact, the last time I saw him, he was on this stage uh, at a really good party. Um, now, these women are not just all-star basketball players, they're also leaders in the Minnesota community. They host an annual breast uh, health awareness game in partnership with the Mayo Clinic. They made holiday cards for children of military members, teamed up with the Twin Cities Boys and Girls Club to help prepare meals for kids who would otherwise go hungry. And the team signed honorary contracts with young boys and girls who are facing big challenges but uh, dream of playing basketball for a day those young people were Lynx teammates, and that, as much as any trophy, is what makes 
these women champions. So, on the 20th anniversary of the WNBA, this is a good moment to celebrate all that these players and the many others who came before have accomplished. 20 years ago, uh, Maya, Simone, and Lindsay were playing horse in their driveway, uh, and suddenly they saw players like Lisa Leslie and Cheryl Swoops and Sue Bird uh, to look up to as role models, and there's no discounting how important that is. Today, these women and women across the WNBA uh, are setting their own outstanding example for girls who are growing up today. Uh, and, and they're aware of, of the responsibilities that come with that. As Maya says, we're not super rich like the guys, uh, but money is not everything when you're talking about dynasties and legacies and inspiring young women and men and opening people's minds. Uh, although money is useful too. <laughs> And I am for uh, equal pay for equal work. So, um, but uh, with that, I know Lindsay would like to say a few more words. Let's give a big uh, White House congratulations once again to uh, the Minnesota Lynx 2015 WNBA champions. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I've always wanted to say that. Yeah. <laughs> to, to a president, too, you know? So yeah. I mean, if you just say makes, it to anybody, yeah, it doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> makes it special. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's our third time here in five years, so mm -hmm. it's, been a, it's been a good run. We've it had is. a good, uh, good partnership. And, um, you know, we were kind of talking earlier today, um, maybe if there was a chance we could maybe get some legislation passed. Um, you know, for you four more years and us a couple more times here. Um, <laughs> kind of keep this thing going. Yeah. Uh, it's, been, it's been pretty good for us. It's been I'd, pretty good for I, us. I, I've been your good luck charm, but uh, you'd have to negotiate with Michelle. Okay. 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 We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. Um, yeah, 2015, as you said, was, uh, was a great year for us. Um, it was uh, a lot of fun. You know, we had, like any season, there's adversity. Um, we kind of had a, a rough patch in August, but we, we learned from that. Um, I think really from us players kind of talking, um, you know, a big microcosm of the season was um, the game out in Long Beach uh, against L.A., um, where we were down, I don't know, it felt like 40. Uh, it was more like 20 um, at halftime. But... Um, you know, at that point, I think we all came together. We could have, you know, just said, all right, we have game three. We can go back and, and win it at home. But we wanted to, to give it our best that night. Um, we persevered through that. Ended up having a couple chances to tie it. Um, you know, we didn't quit. We didn't give up. That's the, the general, um, you know, just the mode that this team has had for all these years. And um, we take the cue from our, um, you know, great coach and, um, you know, all of our, you know, the organization and the leaders. And, um, you know, that's been our mentality. So... Um, that game, we didn't win that game. We came back, we won game three at home. Um, Maya got us a really cool deflection in Phoenix that ended up getting us in the finals, um, which was one of the best finals in WMA history, obviously. So, um, yeah, it's a great year. Uh, the invitation definitely stands for you to come to our house. So, uh, whose house? Our house. Okay, so, invitation stands. I know some people that we can get you some tickets, get some seats. So, um, yeah, we have a, okay. I think a jersey for you. Okay, so. I like, I like jerseys. Okay, let, let's strike the podium and, and let's take a good picture here.